What's up guys? Jake from One Hive bringing you a video today. It's a little different than what you're used to seeing out of One Hive raids. Uh, we're going to go over an attack strategy of Dragons or Dragaloon namely. Uh, and this is going to be focused mainly on Town Hall 8. Some of the principles are going to remain the same uh, no matter where you're at Town Hall wise. But honestly uh, Town Hall 8 it's, it, it's where it's best utilized as far as taking out clan war bases and getting those three stars that your clan needs. Uh, money is going to be our, I guess, model today for this because the girls got it down. So both of the attacks we're showing are going to be her attacks, and we're going to break these bases down and show you how she did it. She comes in from the top of this base uh, at like you know 10, 11 o'clock, and so that's where we're going to be watching uh, and looking at what defenses are there. Um, what you're going to see there is essentially three layers of defenses, three planes if you will. You've got the archer tower, the cannon, and the uh, wizard tower. You've got the second plane there which is the most important, uh, the cannon and the archer tower, and then you've got the plane that you want to get to with your balloons which is the core or the the two air defenses, the mortar. Uh, that's, that's where you're trying to head to. Okay, you've got to create a funnel. You've got to make your troops go there. Um, she does a good job creating a funnel for her for her dragons and her balloons. It's, in essence, there's two funnels. Your balloons are going to go to defensive targets. Uh, your dragons are going to go to whatever's closest. So you've got to sort of funnel both of them. Uh, the cannon here and the archer tower are what could ruin this raid with your balloons straying to them if you don't have them cleared before you drop your, your uh, balloons out of your clan castle. She drops a dragon there at, the, at both army camps, essentially, and starts that dragon funnel, okay? Another thing those dragons are going to do is they're going to go down, they're going to take out those, that archer tower and that cannon. If not, if she drops her balloons, they're the closest defense. They're going to stray left or right, and if that happens, those air defenses in the core are going to tear your dragons up while, they're, while your dragons are taking out those that elixir storage, that dark elixir storage, just whatever they're stopping at along the way to get there because they're going to take out whatever's there, okay? So that's the key to this raid, is, is making sure that you take it out to where when you get to that, when you drop those balloons, they have no choice but get to go to that core. That, that core is the closest defensive units. So you're creating two funnels, one for your dragons to head in, because you've got to take out that, those army camps, all that, to, to make them go to the middle. And again, a second funnel for your balloons, because it's got to be the closest thing for them to go to as well. We'll watch it live here and watch how money does it. Uh, one one dragon on top, one on bottom. That makes it to where your dragons, in essence, are going to go straight into this base. Okay, so you'll see she right there behind it. She starts dropping the dragons. They're going to go straight in, but they're going to take their sweet time stopping at those elixirs, especially that have a ton of hit points. Uh, but right there, you'll see boom, the cannon, the archer tower go down, drops her rage and her balloons behind it. Now there's nowhere for those balloons to go but to the closest defense, which is right in the core. You're also, another thing to remember is your rage is going to be much more helpful to your balloons than it is your dragons. Now, yes, you're going to want to rage those dragons when those clan castle troops come and keep them taking those out quickly so your dragons don't get taken out, but your, your balloons are going to benefit from it. So keep those balloons raged. Uh, you saw there they come in and took out those, the, the dragon took out the last AD, but the balloons took out those first ones. So once this core's out here, it's cleanup time. She's got more than enough dragons left to take out the few, once that two or three uh, towers that were left once the core was emptied out, and it's, there's no question that's a three star, okay? So start breaking your, your bases down like that. We're gonna look at another one. Uh, again, it was from Money. Uh, she's just a, a solid, she's got this, this strategy figured out, so it was just what was there available for me to look at. Um, we're going to look at another one of her dragon raids here and break down the base in the same way. Now this one she comes in from the bottom, uh, so it's going to be just mirror image basically. Um, you've got, in essence, the same thing. You've got three layers of defenses. You've got that front layer of, uh, of an archer tower and a wizard tower. You've got the second layer that is an archer tower and a cannon. And then you've got the third layer the one you want to get to, which is your core, okay? So she's going to create her funnel here. You see the blue arrows 
showing where the dragons are going to start. They're going to start creating that funnel for the dragons. And then she's going to wait till you know, there's a Tesla pop right here. Uh, she didn't know that then, obviously, and it does, actually it helps, if anything, because it's right in the center. It's going to draw those balloons in, too. But the blue arrows indicate where she's going to drop her dragons. She's going to get that, that funnel started there, and she's going to wait. She's not going to drop her loons until those that second layer, the one that will definitely make your loon stray. If she drops her loons before these two are dead, they're going to one of those two defenses they're not going to the core and then they're just going to circle the base and and the air defenses are going to tear up your uh dragons as they're coming in okay so those two those two defenses going down before she drops her loons are what gives her this three star you've got to take them out you cannot you cannot have them up we drop your loons they're out they're going straight to that mortar and once they're raged i mean it's going to be those two air defenses and and so on in the center there uh that those two on the side there they're not even in closer so they can't it, the balloon can't be distracted there once it gets in the core it's not going to go all the way out to attack one of those side uh side defenses we'll watch it live here and show you again how money does it uh dragon on the bottom dragon on the top she's starting that funnel uh you don't want your dragons to start circling the base either you want them heading to the middle as well uh once the once those two corners in essence are taken out you can start filling in behind it uh, in, the, in the center there and they're going to go to the next closest base excuse me the next closest defense or building whatever it happens to be there uh, now watch here as she goes in that she got the archer tower down right here this she drops it at an angle the cannon's not quite down yet but as soon as that tesla popped she knew she could go ahead with her balloons there okay so that's fine. If something like that changes and you can adapt in the raid, that's great. But you see there, she keeps them rage. She drops a second rage for them because she knows that those the, the dragons are nowhere near her second rage. She put those down for the balloons because she wanted it to go back there, get those defenses in the back. And uh, once that's done, once that air defense is down, this raid's over. She knows it. She's got most of her dragons left uh, and only four or five buildings that can even hit her dragons. So, uh, again, just... You've got to think about it as layers, and you've got to, the most important thing is having that secondary layer that can make your loons stray. Have it taken out before you drop your, your loons, and you're going to be more successful. Yes, there's always variables. Things pop up in a raid. Buildings die at different rates. You can't, it's not a perfect science, but this is going to help you if, you if you break it down like that. It's going to help you be more successful in your attacks, especially at Town Hall 8, and get those stars for your clan and get those wins, guys. Hope this helped. Like always, this is Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.